The objectives of this assignment are to find proteins in NCBI databases, identify translational reading frames, recognize translational start codons, and explore the search algorithm BLASTX. In this exercise, you're going to continue working on the same Excel table that we've been using before. The table is getting quite a bit of information. I'll show you a Excel trick to prevent the top row from scrolling off. If you mark this one, view freeze panes. Now when you scroll, at least the gene ID will stay where it is so you know where you are. Okay, so this exercise starts in gene view. I'll slide this away here. scroll down to the section called ref sequences and to get the protein sequence you click on this protein link it'll either be YP or XP depending if it's bacterial or eukaryotic and from this GenBank view you should be able to complete the cells that talk about the protein definition locus and the number of amino acids I also want you to write out the first three amino acids in this protein using the three letter code to find a three-letter code, go to the sequence manipulation site, scroll down to the IUPAC codes, and there they are. Next, obtain a FASTA sequence from each of these, and use these to search the protein molecular weight program in SMS. The Dalton is a standard unit for atomic mass and you should be using kilodaltons, or KDA, as your unit of measure. Next, use the protein stats function to determine what the most frequent amino acid is in each protein. An open reading frame, or an ORF, is part of a reading frame that contains no stop codons, the stop codons being TAG, TAA, or TGA. Open reading frames are used in bioinformatics for gene prediction because long stretches of RNA sequences without stop codons suggests the sequence encodes a polypeptide, or a stretch of amino acids. You're going to use SMS to find open reading frames in RNA sequences. In the gene view, click on the RNA sequence. Copy. And put this into the open reading frame finder of N of SMS. Now we need to set three switches here. We want to look for open reading frames in all three reading frames, one, two, and three. We're going to look on the direct strand first, and then we'll re search the reverse strand. And second, we only want to look at open reading frames that are at least 50 codons long. First we'll look at the Drex strand, or the Watson strand. And here we find there's two open reading frames. Here's the nucleic acid, and then the protein sequence, which is an open reading frame. Here's the second one, nucleic acid protein. So on the Watson strand, there's two open reading frames. We need to look on both strands, both the direct and the reverse strand. And here we see some more open reading frames. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, seven open reading frames, which together with the first two means there's nine open reading frames. And that bit of information goes right here. Number of open reading frames bigger than three. Nine. Now proteins almost always start with the methionine amino acid, and both bacteria and eukaryotes use the same translational start codon. So in addition to there being a long open reading frame, gene predictor programs look for open reading frames that start with an ATG as further evidence that that actually encodes a protein. Now you can force SMS to only look for open reading frames that start with an ATG with this switch. Now we find considerably less. There's one open reading frame in the reverse direction and one open reading frame in the forward direction, total of two. Then what I'd like you to do is find the largest open reading frame and take the first three amino acids and write out that in the three-letter code. MMR standing for met, met, and arginine.
be sure to look for all six open reading frames. The final part of this project is to use BLAST-X to identify an unknown enzyme. So I gave you a DNA sequence, set the database to ref sequence, insert the FASTA format of your sequence here, and blast it. That's it.